Hi, everybody. Hey. Welcome to the Jag Corner. I'm Will Thorpe. This is Mike Bueller, my friend. You may recognize him from our last stream yeah. uh, when we did Chaos Engine. And today, we're going to play some scary games. Yeah. And just to, you know, self deprecate a little bit, uh, we were streaming, streaming for 15 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> and I uh, I forgot to hit the go live button in YouTube. It's been that yeah. long since I've streamed. <laughs> I totally forgot that there's a second step yeah. involved there. But hello, uh, well, Bob Dunlock, you're Bob Dunlock. Yeah, I'm um, making fun of ourselves. Yeah. Matt Smith, thanks for joining us. We were checking in time over there in England, and we and uh, it's in the evening. Yeah. And so hopefully some people across the pond will, will join us. So thanks for joining us today. And, Hopefully we will sufficiently scare you with some scary games on the Jaguar and the Lynx. So uh, before before you start, something I, I did remember. Okay, I'll put it in. Uh, oh, you're fine. Um, I, is there's pretty much no scary games on the Jag. There's only one that I can AVP. think of. Is AVP. Yeah. That's, that's the only one. The only other ones I could think of but are kind of a stretch are uh, uh, Space Ace and Dragon's Lair. Um, but those are more cartoony. Well, uh, but the way he dies could be very scary. Like when I was a kid, that yeah, that's pretty out. freaking scary. Uh, <laughs> so. There's also the game where you fly around and rescue downed astronauts. And oh yeah, the part fall. where the aliens fall like masquerade. you know, yeah. that's I as a kid that would it's a good that jump would scare. scare. Me. Yeah. yeah, I I imagine for. So that game originally released on uh, the Atari 8 bits. Yeah, um, is actually Lucas Arts made that game. It's oh. called Rescue Rescue on Fractalis. It was one of the first. Uh, um, well, they took you remember uh, the Genesis in the Star Trek movie where they launched Genesis and they terraformed that yeah, that 3D yeah. effect. So they got the guy who did that effect because that was brand new, and he's like, "Can we put this in the game?" And so that's <laughs> where Re Rescue on Fractalis oh, came cool. from. Is because all the hills and stuff are, yeah. are fractal. Um, and you go down, and, and I imagine for kids back then, when that alien popped up and, oh, yeah. and knocked on the window, that was pretty scary. I was thinking so. of the things that would have scared so. me as a kid, and that that's right up in there. Yeah, it, it would have freaked me out quite a bit. Well, and so. I remember after the first time I played that, um, I think you let you didn't say anything, and you just let it happen. Yeah. And uh, I was... <laughs> Did you jump? Oh, my gosh. I, I, yeah. I can't remember, so... <laughs> or you, I, you might have warned me, like, yeah, some of these are imposters or whatever, and... Yeah. Yeah. Um, after that point, I was uh, I was a little paranoid every time I would uh, land at a new ship. Yeah. So. No, it's it's uh it's yeah, and, and that's not an official game. That's a that's a homebrew. Yeah. Uh, Fallen Angels, but yeah, that's that's pretty scary. Angels, that's so right. th there are some other games. Uh, just really quick, uh, homebrew games, and I don't want to talk about them too much because. I think it's sad that they exist, but they're, it's called Jag Zombies. I don't know if you've ever heard me talk nah, about I that. Don't know. It's a homebrew game, and it's a it's one of those uh, where you move the reticle around and you shoot things coming at you, and so zombies are coming at you. But it, it's pretty poorly put together, though, and so I don't really consider it. <laughs> like I guess it can be scary, but yeah. Um, anyways, it got me thinking. I might make a scary game on the Jag once I finish I, any of my other projects. Paper Howl. <laughs> paper Howl of the Hang game. Uh, um, I was thinking of actually doing something with Ark, maybe. Oh, yeah, um, that'd be awesome. I'll do something a lot of scary. There. Yeah, so. All right, uh, let's get started. We uh, go ahead and play. Um, I'm going to introduce everybody to this game. So I'll try to catch us up to where, uh, I where you are. Uh, or should I... You can skip all this if you want. Well, um, if they're seeing this for the first time, don't that's, need to, that's like... true. Okay. Yeah. So we already did this when we were streaming before. Highly. Um, but <laughs> hello, I am Lara. Very happy to meet you. My full name is Learning Analytical Upgraded Up Robotic Assistant, but that is a bit of a mouthful. So please use the shorter version. Um, I will try to assist you on your journey. Good luck. Press the three button at the um, at the red crate to drop a bomb and blow it up. Be careful and don't hurt yourself. Move a shorter distance away so you don't get hit. And I uh, blew myself up. <laughs> <laughs> so Mike's a little bit practiced now because we had that 15 minute false start. Yeah. So It's okay. I was, it was kind of embarrassing. Yeah. <laughs> and my name is Ernie. Good day, sir. Uh, my longer name is Electronic Robotic Neural Inter Informational Enhancer, but nobody remembers that, so just call me Ernie. I'm friend. not going to remember it. You can double jump to get the uh, to higher ledges. To do this, press B to jump, and then press B again while jumping. Whee! Whee! Uh, you can also push down to fall through ledges or drop off the moving platforms. 
You are far better at moving than me. Before I forget, you can also fire energy bursts by pushing the C button. Do be careful, things are not as easy as they seem. All right. So as a bit of an introduction to this game, um, this game is called Jumping at Shadows and it's an upcoming release uh, by Reboot. Um, it's, uh, we were talking about during our 15 minute false start that it kind of has, uh, if you've ever played Hollow Knight, it has, it feels a little bit like that in terms of its, its tone. Um, and mechanically, there's some similarity. It's a platformer, and so it's going to feel a little bit familiar. Um, if you've played it, uh, Lee or, um, or Matt, let us know what you thought. We're going we're gonna to play through this. Oh, darn it. <laughs> uh. We're, we're going to play through this demo, hopefully. We'll see how far Mike gets. <laughs> maybe, uh, maybe I'll maybe I'll butt in halfway through or something and and, and rush us through. With your eyes closed. Yeah, maybe. I, I've I've played through it two or three times, so I've 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 kind of been bug testing it as well. I've actually found uh, there was a collision thing I found the other day, um, so I need to I need to repeat that problem and, and send a video over to CJ. But yeah, so this is Reboot's next game, and this uh, this. This first demo leaves, in my opinion, a really good impression. So I'm, I'm looking forward to the finish game. So I'm, practicing. I'm just testing something. <laughs> I thought maybe if you hold down the dash button longer, you uh, dash longer, but that doesn't seem to be true. It's a set, set length. Yeah. There we go. Ah, oh, this is a portal. And it is the end of this zone. Collect the fusion orb over there to open it, and you can get out of here. Sweet. Lee says, I've not played it yet. Looks very fluid, though. It is. Yeah, the, it feels pretty good. Um, like, uh, I'm just trying to think of another. So there's Rayman, Bubsy, and Zool on Zool 2 on the Jag, and this feels... Uh, Oh, the closest it feels to is probably Rayman, um, but it's a little bit quicker. Anyway, sorry. Yeah. Oh, sorry. I just realized I should probably read that droid, just for everybody's yeah, curiosity. That's fine. You know, I'm gonna summarize. It says you can open the things with five orbs, and then the guys with shields are indestructible, and so then you. Uh... Yeah, he goes. Oh my gosh! Can't yeah. get out of. Okay. <laughs> Alrighty. Wait for the elevator. I just love the idea of these elevators from like platformers like Mega Man that have jet engines on the bottom. Yeah. Like, <laughs> let's come up with the most inefficient way to propel a seriously an elevator. You would need an incredibly efficient power source to even do it. Yeah. <laughs> and so for it to last. It's like a billion crows outside. Anyway, sorry, distracted. The committee murder. Uh, oh yeah. Uh huh. That was murder. Yeah, yeah, I got it. <laughs> Darn it. <laughs> that stupid... I don't... Yeah, that didn't one, we find out we could... Yeah, that one's indestructible, yeah. uh, unless you use a bomb. Yeah. I shot the uh, crap out of it. And, uh... okay. Let us know how the audio is, everybody. I, I kind of did some tests, and I can monitor it, and it seems to sound fine. I don't know if the... Oh, no, that sounds good. I'll turn the music down just a little bit. Well, is everybody excited for Halloween? I don't know. Do they celebrate it in England? Pretty sure they do. They, you know, so I went to Taiwan for a few years, and Should even, I read this? even in, oh yeah, go ahead, read okay. it. Sorry. Spikes <laughs> don't land on them, as that will mostly surely hurt. You can defeat the guard by bouncing on his head three times. Okay, there you go. Now you can talk about Halloween. Okay. Yeah, they they celebrate it kind of in Taiwan. The younger people do. Um, and whoa, that was weird. Something flickered on the screen there when you pick that up. Oh, no. Yeah. There you go. Oh, man. Yeah, that just go diagonal. Yeah, that diagonal thing is nice. So, see, I was getting that by coming all the way over here and jumping and doing a dash. You did it right. Is this from, the end of the demo? Uh, no. I, I think there's two or three more I'll oh, check levels. this area out really quick. I'm a insufferable completionist. <laughs> <laughs> That's one of the one problems with platformers. 
is I want to do yeah. everything. Well, every platform I play, the first thing I do is go backwards from the way you're supposed to go. And sometimes you get awarded for that, yeah. like in Limbo and, uh, and I think even Hollow Knight. Yeah, Hollow Knight really rewards you. So be really oh, careful with that. I should probably talk that. to this robot. Yeah. You can also place bombs on the moving platforms to deliver them to their target. Just uh, something to remember. Okay. Cool. Good to know. So yeah, that that will kill you if it touches you. Yeah, that you. looks pretty uh, mean. It's electrified and it has the things. Oh, farts. Oh, you're good. Okay. You're good. You got it. Yeah, there we go. It's nice that those wood ones break. Okay, this is a bit... Oh, you got this. You got it down. Yeah. Oh, I see. That's the chance I have to. Uh, I'm glad I don't get crushed by elevators. Yeah. I uh, beat Dark Forces... Um, last week for the first time in my life on hard mode with really um, no cheats <laughs> how how hard is it is it pretty hard um there's a couple spots where they they unfairly place mines in areas that uh you just can't get to or, or sorry you can't there's no telegraphing that there's a mine there oh, so you open a door and you get blown up and it's like <laughs> well that's stupid that is stupid oh ooh, ooh, ooh. Sorry, kind of spacing out. Yeah, I was reliving my Dark Forces thing. But um, the final boss, um, they give you a chance to, like, uh, turn him on. <laughs> That's bad. Uh, to uh, to uh, kind of activate. trigger, activate the... Yeah, <laughs> there we go. <laughs> That's the right word. And uh, But you can, like, place a ton of mines around where he's going to spawn, essentially. And uh, it was a lot easier when I realized that. Time to learn about dashing. Push A to dash in the direction you are facing. Your aura will turn blue during the dash. Oh, after a dash, your aura will need to for a brief time to recharge. And also dash while you are in. <laughs> okay, can you hear us now? Wait, were we... Muted? Yeah, we were muted. For how long? Uh, for just a few minutes when I switched over. So, uh, sorry sorry about that. Um, thanks for telling me to switch over. <laughs> I, I didn't have the audio set up for that. I, I have a new mic set up, so I forgot to set that up for this scene in OBS. Um, and, uh, yeah, thanks for doing that. Sorry, uh, go, over your, go over your costumes again. We, yeah, we yeah. were commenting about your costumes. Yeah, we're curious costumes. what costumes you guys are going to do. Um, especially in the UK, I'm kind of curious about that. And, America, it's just a lot of Marvel stuff, and then the typical like witches and yeah, and whatever. Uh, my one of my nieces is dressing up as a bat, and uh, she has a pretty killer costume. Like she's been working on it for months, uh, <laughs> and uh, so she has goggles for the eyes. Like she, she's made and everything. Uh, that's so awesome. It's pretty cool. Is that Merc? Yeah, it's Merc. Yeah. Um, Michael is saying he, he's dressing up as the. Oh yeah, man. we're gonna be the Wizard of Oz ensemble. So my oldest will be Dorothy, my youngest will be the Cowardly Lion, my wife will be the Scarecrow, and I'll be the Tin Man, and our rabbit will be the honorary Toto. 
fun. But he's not going with us. He's yeah. just going to sit in his cage. He's an old rabbit. Yeah. I'm going to check something in one other place. Careful. The guard up ahead is wearing a heavy mech suit. He seems to be invincible and bullies people by firing deadly rockets at them. His weak spot is his head. Bounce on that four times to make him dizzy and then place a bomb at his feet to blow him up. Or you could just run away. <laughs> well, that's always an option. So Lee says, son has a werewolf. Daughter is a neon type skeleton. So glow in the dark. That sounds cool. Or does she, do they make costumes with LEDs and stuff like that? No? I've seen the LED masks and those are pretty cool looking. Yeah, oh. and he's, if you even touch him, he kills you. Hmm. Um, I'm not a huge fan of that, but. Yeah. Oh no, I, I got it. I'm used to something like Hollow Knight where you have a health bar. Yeah. Where this is, it's asking yeah, for per one hit. perfection, basically. Which Hollow Knight does that too, but. Hey! <sighs> no. Sorry, it was one pixel off. Yeah. <laughs> this is the part where Will will have to probably jump in for a. Yeah, you're good. A little mega so man. one I can't get. If oh, you look no. over here, I can't figure out how to get to that one. I've I've spent like ten minutes, and I think he did that on purpose to, to just tease people. To tease people, yeah. Or maybe uh, it's another part of the level. And spoiler, you're just you're just about done, um, and you just oh there's a, there's a, oh no that's the that's my indicator, yeah, like, yeah. Is there one up there too? Oh, I almost <laughs> wonder if you can. These almost look like they could be destructible at some point. Yeah. It kind well, of looks maybe. that way. I guess the rest of the map has that going for it. There is a collision glitch that I found that might work, but I'm having a hard time nailing the glitch every time. And and so, anyways. No lights, just the coloring on that costume. Cool. I always figured if I was going to get tattoos, it would be a whole skeleton, but done in UV ink. Oh, that so, would be awesome. <laughs> anytime I'm under black lights, it'd be awesome, but then most people wouldn't know. You won't be able to get away with anything in the dark. Oh, oh it's there to trick you. <laughs> uh, I think you have to take this. Down. I know. Actually, uh, you can skip them technically uh, because you picked up the, 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 the orbs. Orb. Yeah. So you just need to get a bomb and now, then jump over I them. think I know how to do this. Really? Oh, he shoots rockets. <laughs> yeah, I thought um, maybe he would blow up that wall if he shot a rocket at it. Oh. Hmm. I don't. Oh, oh, okay, that's pretty annoying. Yeah, it is. I, I agree. I feel like when he's glitching out, uh, the hitbox should expand or something. Yeah. Or he becomes, he can't hurt you, right? But he is electrified, technically, like he's yeah, there right now. Yeah, he's hot. So... It feels like some, <laughs> it feels like something that could definitely be adjusted. I just don't know how. Yeah. But. What am I doing? Hey, uh, Lee, can you tell me if everything's smooth on the gameplay? Because uh, it it looks chunky on my laptop, but it could just be my laptop is uh, processing things. Uh -oh. Like, it should just be silky, 60 frames a second smooth. That was close. Because they, they, uh, they'll restore if you wait oh. too long. So. Okay, let's see. Yeah, just straight down. <laughs> he's a fun-looking character, though. I like how he looks when he's falling. But... Oh, no. So, something they... I thought they, they taught you this, but maybe they didn't teach you. You see that glow? around you. Yeah, that's my dash indicator. Yeah, and so you have to kind of time things to make sure it's recharged before you try dashing again. Sorry, I may be telling you something you already know. Yes. Okay, just making sure. I'm just, I'm just trying to rush this because I feel like I'm wasting so much time with how much I'm dying. Oh, you're fine. Oh. Okay. Nice. Well, actually, they gave me quite a bit of time. Yeah. Because I was sitting there thinking like, okay, what do I do? Alrighty. Wait for it. <laughs> what was I thinking? I should have waited until my... <laughs> See, not... in my brain, that's what I was going to do last time. I, uh... Yeah. Okay, there you go. Well, when we do a stream again, and we have the full game, you'll have lots of practice. I'll be an expert, yeah. <laughs> I won't die once. I should have you play Gravitic Mines, man. Yeah. 
I think it would drive you crazy. It is a hard game. <laughs> like it drives me crazy and Oh, I did it again. <laughs> I'm just like, yeah, I'll just blow up the crate and move on and uh You got it, Mike. We're gonna lose uh, viewers fast. Oh uh, no slow down notice. Okay, good. Thanks, thanks Lee. I I don't know why it's chunking so bad here on um on uh in OBS. Here, I'm gonna check something. This may cause some problems. Look, I'm waiting. No, no, it's still okay. As long as it's smooth on the streams end, we're fine. Yeah, I, I can't tell. Okay, cool. Thanks. Almost there. Oh, I got stuck. Oh, that's what happened to me too. Did you just kind of jump at it yeah. and then you slipped in? Yeah, I yeah slipped there's in some sort of. The... You know, my guess is CJ's probably already aware of that, but yeah. that, I did the same thing. And I'm like, ooh. This is the end of Jumping Sh uh, Shadows demo. We hope the final game will be available mid 2023 via Atari Age. Sweet. I hope so too. Thank you for your support. It means a great deal to us and is very motivational. See you all soon. Reboot. Uh, will return. Is reboot. That's the, the developer. All right. Anyways, that's it. Cool. Cool. We did it. What do you think? I had fun. Awesome. It was uh, really smooth. I love the graphics. Um, it seemed like you picked up on things pretty quick. Like yeah. you were you were moving. Your it's the, the learning the curve was good. So. Getting past the uh, controller and just kind of how clunky and. Yeah. Big it feels. That's I don't think I'll ever I'll wait until truly we play get used this. To it. Oh geez, yeah. <laughs> okay, so we have an option here, guys. Okay, my uh um Oh he's gonna break away, so maybe just for a minute. Maybe what I'll do Are you more interested in playing a running gun or a point and click? Oh uh, sorry to be indecisive, but either. Either? Okay. <laughs> yeah. Um maybe what I'll do is I will start, we're going to play Dracula the Undead, which is the point and click. And the reason why is it can be pretty boring if you haven't played it before. Yeah. Um, and and then we'll jump over to Xenophobe once you're done. So okay. I'll, I'll play Dracula for just like five or ten Sounds minutes. Good. And then we'll we'll move over to Xenophobe. Okay. I'll be right back. Okay. So give me just a second here as I switch over to the links. Um... Let's turn the jag off and uh, off and switch this. Oh, did it? No. There we go. Over to that. Turn it on. There it is. That switched over pretty good. Nice. Um, let me know if any of you have played this before. Let's scooch over here just a little bit, so I'm a little more center frame. Um, it is a... Uh, I actually... I was playing it... Um, just a, uh, yesterday to make sure everything on the stream would work out fine. And uh, I kind of got sucked into it. It's pretty good, and the fact it's... It feels like a full-blown point-and-click adventure game on the Lynx is, is really... To me, it was very novel. I've played it in the past as a kid, and I never liked it because I couldn't figure anything out. But it, it works pretty well. So uh, it's based off of Bram uh, Stoker's Dracula. If you've ever read that. And we have our narrator here, which is Bram, uh, Bram Stoker himself. I am Bram Stoker, and by the magic of technology, I am able to narrate the story of Dracula to you. Your adventure will closely follow my original book, but in this version, you will be able to interact in a way never thought to be possible when I published Dracula in 1897. First, you will guide Jonathan Harker, a young solicitor. He has traveled to Transylvania from London. Yesterday, as he left the inn, the landlord's wife insisted that he accept and wear a crucifix. She had become concerned when she had learned he was to visit Dracula. Last night was Walpurgis. Lee says, played Dracula the Undead through a few times. Wrote a guy for many moons ago. Funny as it's not that long. 
Really? Um, it seems like I watched a playthrough a few years ago, but I couldn't. Re I, I can't remember off the top of my head how long it was, but um, I got. I'm gonna try to get to the part where I got stuck, and maybe you can help me <laughs> with that because I I was just I couldn't figure out what to do. It was down in the catacombs, so we'll see if I can get there here really quick. Um, last night was Wal Walpurgis. Don't know how to say that. Walpurgis knocked. Is that German? Sounds German. When the locals believe the dead rise and stalk the night. Mm. Jonathan was taken to Castle Dracula. I was gonna check the audio here really quick. Turn it up just a bit. Okay. Uh, Jonathan was taken to Castle Dracula in a coach driven by a strange cloaked man arriving in the early hours of the morning. He had been shown to his room by the Count himself. Dracula told him to get plenty of rest and to rise late the next day. Food would be ready in the dining room. Dracula would be away during the day. Dracula also said that Jonathan was free to explore where he wished, but that he should never try to enter any locked rooms. This was for Jonathan's own safety, since most of the castle is in ruins and is dangerous. It is late morning. Jonathan has awakened and dressed in the antechamber to the bedroom, to his bedroom. After failing to find a mirror anywhere, I wonder why, he had used the small shaving mirror which had been brought with him, which he had brought with him. While shaving, Jonathan has cut his chin and the wound is now marked and congeal by congealed blood. Jonathan seems to recall that there was something he must do before going down to the dining room, but cannot quite remember what. Jonathan reminds himself that in the future, he should make a note of anything interesting or important. Jonathan feels strange. It is as though he is not in complete control of his own actions. Hmm. I still don't understand why uh, you get the notebook here. Uh, maybe you can let me know why, Lee. Uh, if it doesn't spoil um, uh, a puzzle anyways. Okay. Just a tr chest of drawers. I, I like the way they did the menu here as well. Um, my notebook's in there. Well, let's get the notebook. Get notebook. Okay, I got it. Um, and I know for first-time players, this would be really confusing because it's hard to see things. And I imagine on original Lynx hardware with an original LCD, it's probably a nightmare <laughs> to figure this all out. So the fact that you put a guide together, Lee, is pretty impressive on original hardware um anyways we're gonna because your bedroom like you get clues right they say this is an antechamber so if you know what that is you realize oh my bed isn't in this room it's a room right outside of my bedroom um and and so you'll you'll look for your bed right um but it isn't obvious because the door isn't seeable and uh, yeah anyways all right so we have a table here have to examine it, I believe. So if we examine it, there's a tinder box on the table. So we're gonna get that. And then, um, our chin was bleeding, right? So being around Dracula with a bleeding chin or a, at least blood on her chin, it's probably not a good idea. So that crucifix, finding that crucifix is probably a good idea. So we're gonna examine the bed. <laughs> he already gave it away, right? There's a crucifix on the bed. So we're going to get that, but a crucifix is useless if we do not wear it. So, okay, I feel safe now. Okay. Okay, we got our crucifix. Um, also, there's kind of a red herring here. I think it's a red herring anyways. Maybe we hide in it later, I don't know. But you can open up the cupboard, but there's nothing in it. So if we, if we look, I don't even think. Uh, the antechamber. Yeah, we can't even look at the cupboard here. Um, but we can examine it, and it just says, oh, it's an old cupboard. So, anyways. Uh, oh, Mike's back. You can keep going. Yeah, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to get us to, well, if we have time. Um, we're going to have to cut the stream off. Can, can we go till 1, you think? Is that all right? I think so. Okay. We're going to go until 1. So we may not even get to Xenophobe here. We'll see. Um, I think as long as uh, before Heather gets back. Okay. Uh, do you know when she's going to... Okay. So we've gone outside of our room. 
go up to this door, examine it. Oh, this is black and white, right? No, it's full color. Oh. It's just this game is sepia, but it does have the, okay. the color down here. Um, so if we examine this door, nothing interesting about it. Oh wait, isn't he supposed to, he's supposed to say something else? I'm pretty sure. Oh, uh, if we go to open door, it's jammed shut. But I might be able to pry it open. Mm. Anyways, this is very much like uh, uh, like Maniac Mansion, where you have the the ne uh, the uh, verbs, right? Yeah. Um, and then I like you combine the scroll it. Wheel. That's a really cool idea. Yeah, it is, and for the screen space, right? Because yeah. it's only like a hundred and what is it? Is it 122 pixels? Does anybody know the resolution off? Yeah, it's only a, like 122 pixels, 120 pixels by whatever the height is, 50. <laughs> and so probably a little bit more than that. Yeah. But but yeah, I'm like, this was a great way to condense that whole thing. It's not as convenient as having like all your items and everything yeah. there, but it, it works pretty good. Oh, if we look at this painting. Here. It's a picture of Vlad the Impaler. And you look at it, doesn't even look like like it looks like a castle or yeah, something. No, it's, no, <laughs> so, I don't see how that, it's possibly a person. Yeah. Oh, okay, we're gonna go get some breakfast. Is your guy from the planet? It looks like it. Yeah, when you walk right into the screen yeah. there, it's like, oh, Dracula's here. Let's talk to him. Uh, talk to Dracula. Good morning, Count. Good morning, Count. Good morning, Jonathan. You're looking delicious. So you missed it. Uh, there's Bram Stoker is actually narrating this, okay. and he talks about when you woke up, you cut your chin. Yeah, shaving. Yeah. So, you're kind of... so I'm spoiling this. I'm not actually showing it here on the stream. But if you don't get the crucifix that you get earlier and put it on, he actually just straight out eats you right here at the beginning. Sweet, yeah. <laughs> so yeah. but yes, thank you. I slept well. Uh, you have an impressive home count. Thank you. Please explore the castle, but do not try to enter any locked rooms. The castle is run down and can be very dangerous. But first, please enjoy your meal. I will not be joining you as I ate earlier. When shall we get down to business? I will be away today on business of my own. I will return tonight. When you're sleeping and I can eat you, I'll eat my meal now. It's like, it's like a gah. A gah. <laughs> Why? Is... <laughs> I don't know. I just said, like, oh, this has been awesome. So this is Bram Stoker. Dracula then left the room and Jonathan was left wondering what might be his fate. Mm. Okay, so we're going to look at the table here. Uh, it's a piece of bread. Look. Dining room table. Okay, nothing too interesting. So they have this look, and then they have examine. Okay. And that's very important that you try both of those out. Okay. Because there's a point right after this that you just get stuck at if you don't. Yeah. There's some oil here. Oh, really? Well, let's get the oil. I got... Okay. Got... Okay. So there's nothing else here to look at. What, what's on the plate? Um, I don't think you can actually look at it. Oh, you can't eat your breakfast? We already ate. So after the conversation, it just assumed. Oh. Yeah. yeah, so there's... It just says table again. So if we examine it, that's the main... Okay. Dining room table. What about the pictures? Can you look at? Yes, you can. Oh, it's Frankenstein's monster. It's oh, the that whole bunch. <laughs> it's the whole bunch. Uh, let's examine it. Nothing interesting about it. Interesting. Okay. okay, I'm gonna. There's one other room we can go into, but there isn't much we can do. So if we look at it here, can't remember about notebook specifics, but I do remember I used to take notes about pretty much everything I discovered in the game. So Lee did a guide mm -hmm. back in the day, apparently, for this oh, game. Wow. So, um, which is cool. Uh, open. Can you open the clock? Um, I don't think so, not so yet. That case. So open the clock door is locked. But it makes it seem like you should come back and mm. look at it. It's pretty uh, distinct. 
So we can't look at anything here. Anything you can interact with will show a, a thing down at the bottom. Books. So, examine books. It's too dark to see anything clearly, so we can't really get it. So get the books. It doesn't even give us the option, so. so can't do anything with that. I don't think there's anything over here on the tables or anything. Couches. And nothing with the windows. I don't think. Yeah. So this is kind of a dead end, at, at least this point in the game. Um, I played this a bit yesterday, so I got fairly far. Yeah. I think. <laughs> it felt like far because I got stuck. Like, really stuck a few times. So if we go back up to our room. I know this is a little bit boring because I, I kind of know what I'm doing, but we have some windows to look at. So if we go look at this window. Examine the window. It looks out onto the courtyard. We try to open it. It won't open. So we can't open that window. And this is what makes this game kind of difficult. You can't see things. Yeah. So if we walk up here, there's oh, a window. There's things on the stage. <laughs> yep. And so, okay, we can open this window. And at this point, I'm like, well, what do we do? Can we climb out the window? Yeah. Jonathan does not believe that anyone that's a little bit could climb out onto the castle wall without falling. This is where it got me. It's because you have to look out oh, the window. Gosh. <laughs> Jonathan looks out the window. Get this cool cutscene. <laughs> Let's see here. Made a Star Trek reference. Is there, can we tie that in? <laughs> I don't know why, but the thought of a... Gawk. Gawk. It's just like... Maybe oh. it's the sepia tone or something. Maybe. Jonathan sees Dracula standing on the ledge across Don't the wall. Don't do it, Dracula! <laughs> it's not worth it! <laughs> Trying to talk him down. <laughs> <laughs> he is astonished to see Dracula crawl face down along the wall. Oh, oh my see. goodness. Like a squirrel. Like a squirrel. He's not a bat, he's a squirrel, man. <laughs> yeah, seriously, why doesn't he just... <laughs> <laughs> my kids are always pretending to be squirrels, so it's just... <laughs> Okay, so there's the cutscene. Okay. We look out the antechamber. Oh, it's just, oh, we're actually not against the window. It moved us. Okay, so look out the window. It leads to the south wall of the castle. Well, guess what? If we try climbing now, I've seen Dracula out there. It must be possible. I'm going to do it just <laughs> like <No>. him. <laughs> <laughs> Straight down, head first. Oh, are you controlling it? Yeah, so I'm controlling him. Neat. And so there's a little bit of a an invisible maze, I guess puzzle oh, here. Oh, I see. And so it's just kind of a trial and error thing. Just gotta bump into things that come yeah. as you go. That's interesting. I've never seen a point and click with a mechanic like that. Yeah. Um, Sometimes they do little mini games and stuff. Yeah. But yeah, I think this is the first one I've played that has something like this. Did you ever play King's Quest VI? No. So there's this they call it the uh, the Cliffs of Logic and uh, you have to you have to solve these little puzzles, but it, it creates tiny little stepping stones, and you have to click on them with your hand icon or your foot icon, which yeah. are very imprecise on like where the actual activation part on the icon is. Yeah. And so you can, if you click not on the little rocks, you fall. Oh God. God. So you have to meticulously go up each rock and then solve a puzzle to generate more rocks Ugh. until you get to the top. It's, uh, it's tedious. It's one of the most annoying uh, segments in any point click game. I've I remember at least. So you didn't see this room because you were gone. This is just my bedroom. And this is where I got my crucifix and a tinder box, which oh, we'll be using later. Oh, it's already open. Okay. So we will climb back out. I don't think I would have ever noticed uh, or thought about walking toward the camera to solve things. Yeah. That's, uh... And I think as a kid, that's what really threw me off yeah um and and so i couldn't figure anything out and that's only like five minutes into yeah, the game yeah. that puzzle it, it, so... it's interesting how older games tend to have these uh my guess is there's mechanic. there's probably something in the manual yeah that says hey don't forget to look at the camera basically yeah. <laughs> because there could be things so i don't bring up a 
bunch of old games. Maybe I'm feeling nostalgic. Oh, you're fine. But, uh, did you ever play Yoda Stories or hear about that? No. So it's what like, is... it's a little uh, top-down kind of puzzle game that LucasArts, uh, I don't think they developed it. No, no, I guess they did. Uh, it probably came out in 95, 96, something like that. Mm -hmm. And uh, you, the map is set out in uh, generated tiles, so every game is different. And yeah. then uh, you have puzzle tiles and then just tiles to transition to the puzzles. And uh, it's kind of like a labyrinth. Uh, like, I've watched people review the game and they're like, this sucks, I can't find anything. <laughs> well, what, what I learned really quick as a kid is in the first uh, eight tiles that you're able to get to from the start screen, you can find a locator, which it shows a map. Oh, so you so, can consult that to know where to go. Yes, but no the game one is knows suddenly, that. Suddenly <laughs> playable. Just this <laughs> obscure thing that's not mentioned. I don't think a manual traditionally came with Yoda stories. Maybe it usually was just kind of a desktop adventure. Um, but yeah. I feel like it's in the vein of this kind of thing, where it's like, oh wait, I can look at the camera and see things. These obtuse mechanics. Yeah. I, yeah. I know I can get over this window. I took a different path, and oh, there we go. I got. It. I'm just gonna roll this. Like, <laughs> like, oh. <laughs> uh, of things. So let's, let's find out what the room is. This seems to be Dracula's study. Is he studying? Let's take a look. And examine. Sorry. Table. There's a lantern here. And some papers. Paper a suit. <gasps> Back to Bram Stoker. As Jonathan looks amongst the papers lying on the desk, he finds a shipping note for 50 boxes of earth to be delivered to Whitby in England, and a list of addresses which includes the house at Carfax. Carfall. Carfax, yeah, probably. Jonathan is surprised to find that the Count has also purchased a house on Union Street. Spender. Interesting. All that dirt. <laughs> Whole house. We should, we should probably get that lantern. Get... Lantern. Okay, we got it. Okay, there's some stuff over here. I can't remember if it's useful. Example. Just a pile of papers. Get up. Get up. You're such a klepto in these games. Nope. Anything. Anything. It's all mine. Yeah. <laughs> uh, can we talk to it? Nope, we can't talk to the pile of papers. <laughs> We're safe. That's good. Where I like the Monkey Island games. You usually can. <laughs> like and they that. talk back. <laughs> Examine. There's a drawer in the desk. Okay, and a map hung on the wall over it. Okay. We can't get anything. Uh, we don't... Oh, can we open the drawer? It's locked up. So can't open the drawer. Um, I don't think there's anything else we can do here. It's kind of nice because it shows you your options. Yeah. Um, and, and so you don't have to do, t you know, click on every item, try yeah. to combine a bunch. I know um, some of the games, at least on PC, you could pull down the alt button or shift and it, it would highlight the items you could interact with, but maybe that's actually just the, uh, remasters. Yeah. So I've been playing, I stopped playing Monkey Island on the ST Yeah. and I, because they had all the Monkey Island games for sale for like four bucks. Yeah. Everything except the, for the newest Steam. one. Yeah. yeah. Um, and so I've been playing the remaster of the first one, which isn't very attractive to tell you the truth. No, I actually tend to go back to the old graphics. Yeah. So. I'm, I'm, can you switch to them? Yeah. You just push, um, well, what's funny is they made a controller enabled. So I just push the back button or whatever, the option button on the yeah. controller and it goes back your reverts. It, oh, if you go in the, if you go into the settings, you can Go okay. Back to retro mode. Again. I might have you show me that because because yeah. I cannot stand. Yeah, you can the new graphics in between them. Okay, yeah. that's good to know. <laughs> yeah, I hate the new graphics though. Yeah. I uh, love hate things. I think the only game they've released that I actually liked the newer graphics more was uh, Day of the Tentacle. Yeah. But like, at full throttle, I tolerated it's, it. It's okay. It yeah, full throttle is okay. It's like a one to one switch over. Yeah. Felt like things were lacking. But anyway, blah, 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 let's play this. Okay, it's too dark to see anything down there. I opened up a door over here. Yeah. Um, so we can't go in there because it's too dark, but we got a lantern, right? So this is the first um, combination you have to do. So lantern with oil. Okay, the lamp's full of oil now. And then we do lantern with tinderbox. 
now we have a panther. That's cool. Yeah, and Can you run out? Uh I don't know. I, I haven't I don't think I've played long enough to really find out yet. Mm. Yeah, it's cool. They they're doing some sort of blending option in here as well. The Lynx the Lynx was the first first handheld with a GPU. Mm. May have been one of the first consoles that had a dedicated GPU on it. And so they can do scaling effects and stuff like that, but uh, also blending effects, which you're seeing right here. Are those piles of money? I think so. Use button. Can you talk to the money? <laughs> I don't think so. There are many coins and notes from many different countries. The Count must be quite a collector. There's white feathers around us. Uh, must be on this Scrooge McDuck. <laughs> Get. Okay, I've got some. Okay, I've got some Get money. All... Ooh, there's a box hidden. Get. Can I get more money? I've already got some. Oh, oh. <laughs> okay, I've got it. Okay. Can we open the box? Oh, we can. There's a large iron key inside. Do I have to do get key? Get. Nope, I must already have it. Okay, so we have a key. Can you not pull up an inventory? So your inventory is the use, and so I was just oh, checking. Oh, iron key. Yeah, yeah there it iron is. Iron key. So there it is. Use door. That is what Use iron key with door. Okay, it's unlocked now. Does my key disappear? No, it does, doesn't it? Oh, no, I still have it. So I may... Let's go try it on the drawer before we go down. No, it's still pretty nice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Desk. Use iron key with door. That doesn't seem to work. Nope, can't use it there. I think this door's locked too. Um, let's try opening it. It won't open. Okay, use iron key with. Oh, the door doesn't even show up, so it didn't even give you the option on that one. Okay. Okay, so let's go down into. See the shape of the door? Shaped like a cup. <laughs> uh, open. Good. Go in here. Okay. Now we're down in the catacomb, and just for the sake of time, well, yeah, we on we only have a few more minutes, so um, I I kind of know where to go at least somewhat. So Lee, I'm gonna need your help here after I collect an item. So if you go to the right, and then you go forward, all right, see there's no map, and so um, there's a ladder. So if we climb that ladder. Horse! What? Oh no! <laughs> it must be the stable or something. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so if I try to climb it again, I can't go up there. I'd get trampled to death. I better go back down now. So it sends me back down. So I'm not sure what to do there. And then if you walk to the right. Yeah, there's this stone or something. I'm not sure what it is. It says it's a rock. But it looks like a corpse of some animal. Or something. So if we examine it, it's fresh blood. I should be careful where I go next. So, uh, spoiler, if you go back. The only reason I'm not going to do it is because there's no saving in this at all. And so if you die, you go to the back oh, and start oh. of the game, which really sucks. Yeah. And that's why I was wondering if the notebook is used for saving, because you have this notebook and you can use it. Um, Help us out, Lee. You wrote a guide. Yeah. Um, if that was a temper, like a, a save game, a runtime save game. So if you power the console on and off, it gets rid of it. But as long as the co console's powered on, you can return back to wherever you looked at your notebook. Oh, what's that the notebook here? It's just can't remember, that, but I do remember I used to take notes about pretty much everything I discovered in the game. And so, so maybe it's just a way of remembering things. Well, and so you can use it. Jonathan makes a note in shorthand. But then when you try to look at your notebook or examine it, well, you, can you can't, use it? can't even look at it. Or is using it where you write notes? Yeah, use, using it is where you write notes. And so I don't know what it's for. It's a little frustrating. Oh, you can turn the music off. That's nice. Um, 
Anyway, so if we walk backwards, uh, Dracula kills us. But if we walk to the left... Just there. Yeah, he's... he's... Door under my oh, is it the left or is it the right? I think it's the left. There's an item we can... Oh, no. It is back here. Maybe it's forward. Nope. Can we go back? No. See, and there's... I it's think there's a right. random yeah. element to it, which is frustrating because I can't figure out what to do next. After, there's one more item we have to pick up, and I, I was trying to find it, but maybe it was to the right. Not that wrong. Okay, we're back here. So if we go to the right, go forward, to the right again, and we'll go right again. Oh, can I get... Anything off the rock? Like the blood? Well, I think he's worried about getting blood on us. Get. Yeah, there's nothing we can pick up there. No. Or can you look at the rock? There's an item I have to get here. Um. But I'm not finding it. Oh, there it is. Got it. Maybe it's random. Get twine. Oh, sweet. So we got some twine, and I don't know if we need to bridle the horse or something so lee this is where i'm stuck so if you can help out here pull put oil in lantern and light with tinderbox i think you can go through door to right oh yeah we already did that you're a little behind lee um yeah i mean it's going to space Maybe you pause the stream for a little bit. We, we already got through that, <laughs> just in case <laughs> uh, you catch up with us. Um, let's see if we can get back to the stairs. Oh, um, let's see. I don't know if we can climb back out the window. We should be able to, right? Yeah. Let's go, let's go check. Because I don't you know. You have if... to specify to put the lantern away before you do anything. Oh, maybe that's because when I was playing yesterday, I don't think I could go out the window, but I may have had the lantern. Yeah. Uh, still. Let me see if I can put it away. We'll walk up to the window here. See, there is an indicator that there's a window here. Just oh, barely. Just that. And I don't know if you've ever seen an original Link screen. No, yeah, I it's... have. It's kind of indecipherable. <laughs> I don't know how you would see that. Uh, I think you can use a notebook after talking to Dracula earlier. Can't remember if he's in the room otherwise. Oh, okay. Um, okay. Can I put away a lamp? Maybe I go use lamp. Or lantern. Use lantern with lantern. That doesn't work. Use lantern with wine. That doesn't work. Yeah, I don't think I can put away the lantern. Um, no, you just use it again. I, I tried that. It didn't work. Let me try. Yeah, I can't open the window, so I'm stuck here for some reason. Um, so if you do open window, what does it say? Oh. Oh, okay. I hate doing this. Oh, so I can't take the lantern back, and I need the lantern in the library in order to read the books. So maybe you need to go find the door. Maybe. Here, I'm gonna try. Wait, you tried um, I'm... using the key on the door with the lantern in your hand. Maybe you can. Oh. Maybe you can open it with when you're not holding the lantern. I think this guy only has can... one working arm. One working arm. <laughs> Use time key with. Oh, that's right. Oh, oh that's show. right. Yeah. yeah. Let's see if it works on the drawer though. Maybe it's a key that leads to a key. Use. Iron key. Huh? You, you hit something. Oh, first. use iron key with a drawer. No. Okay, let's pick up the lantern and go back down into the catacombs. Uh, we can't, can't, like, tie the lantern to his belt with the twine or something. I've tried combining the lantern yeah. and the twine and it doesn't do anything. There's anything else on this table. Yeah, there's nothing else on this table. It's too dark. Oh, <clears throat> that's right. Okay, uh, yeah, we're coming up. 
need to end here. I want to go try something with that horse really quick. Um, oh, I have to... Tinderbox. Reflect. There we go. Huzzah! Huzzah! Light! Okay, let's go back down. Lee says... Is there anything to the left of that? Um, let's check. I don't know for sure. seem like it. And I don't know what these things, I assume they're just shelves. Yeah. I but they're empty. So, let's see if there's anything. Like some stripes. Yeah. Walk. I remember, is there actually a thing dirt with that? I don't know, actually. I've read the book, but it's been yeah. a long, long time. I remember time. that was a thing in Nosferatu. Yeah. Is it to bury bodies or something? Or... He needs the dirt for something. See, he needs it. Or is it flaked dirt? Or something? Oh, yeah. Okay. He's up to... There's some sort of conspiracy. He's causing a problem in England. Yeah. And so you can probably get more people to feed off of, probably. Yeah. So, hmm. Yeah, it seemed like there is a, a plot there going on. Okay. Let's come over here to the ladder. I can't remember if the horse shows up as a usable item. That's what I wanted to check out here. Sugar lump somewhere for the horse. Oh. Hmm. Climb ladder. Oh, no, it's just like, I'm going to stomp you, you know. It's a ball of twine. It's not a kitten, but... Use, climb. The horse probably doesn't even show up. Yeah. Well, what's in the box that you picked up? The the uh, the key. The key. Okay, What's so you there? just have an empty box. Yeah. Put the lantern in the box. <laughs> Use. I still have the box, right? Yeah. yeah. Use box with key. Oh, key. Does it say what? Uh, box with box. Use. Oh, it's a single coins. Some of these are single. You can't combine them. Like they haven't been mm. set up that way. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, let's wander for just a couple more minutes, and then uh, we'll kill ourselves. In fact, maybe we'll just go kill ourselves right now, oh. because because I spent quite a bit of time yesterday just wandering trying to find yeah. well, anything. What's with the, the blood on the rock? Like, is there any reason? I think it's just as a a warning that Dracula was here, and so if you walk backwards, he kills you and and we're gonna do that to, oh, okay. to end things but it's a good way to end. Um, let's see here you have to do climb here to exit this I'm pretty sure can't go up there I trample to death I better go back down now okay so to the right yeah we're just gonna die here so if we go up I don't know why sure, look at the it's fresh blood Okay, you want to look. look, you are in the evil catacombs below Dragon's oh. Yeah, it's kind of like the evil look catacombs. around. Yeah, they're evils for some reason. Turn. Turn key. Can't do that. Box. Can't do that. Points. Can't do that. Crucifix. Can't do that. Yeah. Like the adventure game. Yep. Okay. Let's end this. Oh. Apparently not. Oh. Huh. Maybe it's random, the direction. Oh, no, there we go. Jonathan has entered Dracula's resting place. A bright light has awakened the Count, who prematurely ends your adventure. Beyond Rocky, easy to escape from. Well, what I don't understand is he went to go... Oh, he was sleeping, wasn't he? Yeah, that's why he crawled the out of the wow. window. Okay, I get it now. The end. Oh. And there's no way to, you know, how I used the notebook earlier. In fact, I don't even think you can get out of this. You have to restart the game. Oh. And they have a button restart here. You do these two buttons at the same time. It restarts like that. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. It'd be nice if there was a at least a runtime save. So it isn't a permanent save. It just saves it in yeah. temporary memory. But there isn't. Anyways. Well, there you go. All right, everybody. Um... Bit of a surprise stream. 
Um, I know I was talking to Mike earlier about advertising about these a little bit earlier, and maybe I should. I, I just, I'm not motivated to do that enough, and I kind of like how there's a small group of people here, too, yeah. that, that, I, that we can talk to, and so, but maybe I'll advertise a little bit sooner, maybe through the newsletter or something. I've been thinking about starting a, a thread on Atari Age that's just oh, yeah, dedicated yeah. to Jag Corner streams, and so when I do a stream, yeah, I not? can just post there, say, hey, come join me. Um, I don't think Albert would mind that. No, I don't think he would. Zero Page Homebrew, I think, does it. So, anyways. Um, thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, have a spooky Halloween. A happy yeah. Halloween. I shouldn't have yawned so much yeah. after uh, this game ended. Oh, you're fine. Like, oh, <laughs> I'm actually screaming. I'll just dub that in later. So, I was talking to Bryce, and I actually have a hard time playing Point and Click Adventures without somebody there. Yeah. And, uh... One of my best memories for Point and Clicks was playing The Dig with Bryce at Christmas, oh, yeah. like Christmas Eve. Uh -huh. And it was so much fun. Yeah. And, and and I think that's why I'm having a hard time with Secret of Monkey Island. Yeah. I have a hard time getting through it. Yeah, I'm playing by yeah. myself. I've heard your sister really likes it. Julie? Yeah, and so yeah. I'm thinking about actually playing with her because yeah, she's available. Be awesome. And so maybe the kids will get involved too. Yeah. And so anyways... All right, uh, thanks. Um, again, just my normal spiel, like and subscribe for people who aren't already here uh, that are watching the stream afterwards. Um, smash that bell. Smash that Whatever. like button. <laughs> Whatever they say. say yeah. Flatten the bell. Um, uh, I don't know when yeah. I'll do another stream. Maybe it'll be around Thanksgiving. Maybe we'll do another turkey bowl with, uh, oh, with brutal sports football. Yeah. That's that's pretty fun. So. Yeah. Uh, so I might, I'm, we might do that again this year. Maybe I'll make that a tradition where we do that each year, and then, um, uh, and then I'll probably do something for Christmas. I there is a chance I'll be moving here um, within the next month, so I don't know if that will create a hiccup or not. But just keep in mind that I may disappear again <laughs> for a bit as I settle into a new place. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching, uh, and we'll see you next time. Bye.